Hi, this is Nick from MobileAndGadget.com. I'm with Rika at the Sony stand at MWC and she's going to be demonstrating how the smart band works with a telephone. So, when we're talking about smartware, we're talking about three things. We're talking about the wearables, of course. We are talking about the new app that we created called the Life Log, And we're going to talk about the interactions between the two. Those three things combined is what we call smartware. If we start with the design itself, the wearable for now that we've launched is a smart band. The smart band itself is made of silicon. It's nothing over the where you go, oh wow. What you go wow about is the core within. The core within is this little piece and we're currently working on different concepts of how you can wear these other ways than just in a band. We can take a look at those later. This is waterproof down to 3 meters versus our Z2 and our tablet Z, our Z2 tablet is down to 1.5 meters because of course it's another technology. What is so genius about this and what is a revolutionary is that it is charged by micro um, USB that's what I wanted to say and that has in the future been a bit of a challenge how to waterproof this we as a company have been waterproofing telephones with with the jack stick for three generations now but to actually be able to do it with this is a very big invention so that's the wearables itself second pillar again like I talked about is the life log so the life log is an extension of yourself it is to be viewed as a diary we log different things here yeah, and they're logged, some things are logged uh, automatically, other things you have to enable yourself depending on what kind of information and what level of information that you would like to log in your diary, so to speak. As you can see, we have a journey view. You can see when I do this that the colors are changing and that is because our application is connected to a weather forecast. So you can actually you have a little bit of a future prediction in this app because if it was, if the forecast was to say that it would rain tonight in Barcelona at 8, if, if I would scroll to 8 o'clock tonight I would actually see rain in my UI. As you can see again my avatar is running indicating at this point of time yesterday I was actually running. You can see if I do this, that means I wasn't being active, I was sitting still or not moving around. Let's scroll again and see if we can find now I'm sleeping, so on and so forth. So this is an indicator of that. You can also see that you have these little icons in the sky as well, indicating what kind of activities you were doing. Likewise, in our dashboard, we call the below here our dashboard, you can see that the numbers are changing all the time, depending on what time of day you were in. So, the four top icons here, you can see, say, calories, steps, hours, and hours again, but with a running icon. So, these are your activities. Your activities are logged by your band, because the band has an internal memory that will last you up to two weeks. So, what it tracks is it tracks how many steps you take. If we open it up. So, with all of these across from the activities, you can set your goals. You can say, how many steps is it that I want to be taking a day? So this will help you to be more active. You can see now that I was taking 43,942 steps, and that means you are X amount of steps over. If you were below, it will be shown in red, and it will show you how much you are below. So let's just say it's a nice weather outside, and you are below with, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000 steps from the goal that you set. Maybe you would actually walk home from work or walk for 30 minutes to try and earn some steps to try and be more active. Okay. At least it gives you a more visual view over how active you actually are even if you don't go to the gym and so on and so forth and it will also translate into how many kilometers x amount of steps is and for how long it took you collectively to walk that also you can get the average of distance and kilometers and steps for a week for a month and for a year and that's the same for your calories, it's for the hours, and it's for running. To say about running, again, if you have your GPS enabled with it, whatever you do, you will get that into a map view. Again, here it's the same for how long have you been running, but you can equally see how many calories you burned on that one run. So if you tap this one, you will then be able to see the route that you were running. Wow. Okay. 
So let's just say that you like running and you like running in different places. When you come back to Barcelona next year, if you had a really, really good run, you can go back in time and you can then see, oh, where was the route that I was running? Because that was a brilliant route. And you can run the exact cool. same route. So that's where the value actually is as you start to lock your different things. As you can see up here, we have something called bookmarks. I'll actually show you. So when you go into bookmarks, bookmarks you can do create in two different ways. I can double tap on my band or I can create it directly in the app by tapping the little bookmark in the UI. If I go into this, as you can see here, this is how a bookmark looks. It tells you the date and the date of time. The reason why it tells you the location is because I have my GPS on. If you did not, it would not tell you where you were. It would simply be a blank little note and then it's up to you to tell how detailed you want to be and what information you wish to put in. It is fairly neutral. As you can see on Saturday, I went out to a restaurant here in Barcelona. I had my GPS on because that's what I like about it. So when I come back to Barcelona next year and I want to go to the exact same restaurant, I can then go into my live vlog. I can see change the date so I don't have to scroll for a whole year, but I actually go to the date I want to be, I was at, and then look maybe two or three days and I can find my, my bookmark. Okay. Lastly, to say again, you can see if you're listening to music, it will tell you if you're using the Walkman app, which of course everyone is. Just fine here. Here. That was a... Yeah, that won't do it. Block all. You can actually get a detailed view of, again, what music you were listening to. Maybe in the current time you won't think, okay, what value does that bring me? But I'm pretty sure that everybody will recognize that maybe a year, two or three, ten years from now, we will actually be laughing with our friends to say, oh yeah, do you remember that song? Or Because songs tend to bring memories back. Okay, so I have one question for you. Yep. Now, given there's lots of kind of music uh, recognition uh, programs out yep. there, can it log that along with your location where you are? See, that's what you had here, for instance, with, um, with the bookmark. You can see here, when I did that bookmark, again, there are attached the actions too. Right, okay, so if I was at a club, I heard a song I liked. I can remember I was at this club, and so I can see what songs they played. You don't have the recognition thing where you then turn it on and say, okay, recognize this song and attach it to the bookmark, if that's what you mean. Yes, that's You right. would have to put it in yourself manually. So you can bookmark the place, the club, but then you would manually have to put in the name of the song. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, to tell about the live vlog is it has your smart sleep so smart sleep is that we have two modes if you go here you can say it says day mode if I long press here on the little button you can see it shifts to night mode now the band and the phone thinks that I'm going to sleep when I'm done sleeping I will long press again and it will switch back to day mode and that then tells the band and the phone that I'm done sleeping that means that it will again record and say for how many hours and minutes were you asleep. It will also analyze my sleep in terms of how many percentage was deep sleep, how many percentage was light sleep. The way it does that is because when you're in a deep sleep, you tend to lie still. When you're in a light sleep, when you're in a light sleep, you tend to toss and turn a bit more. That also then tells you, when you set your alarm, me for instance, I have to be up at seven to be able to get to work in time. So 30 minutes from seven o'clock, and 30 minutes backwards, that means from 6.30 to 7. In between that time span, when the band recognizes that I'm in a light sleep, it will start vibrate and actually entirely wake me up. And this is a very, very, very comfortable way of waking up instead of having an alarm beeping in your head when you're in a deep sleep, because that can be a bit of a traumatizing experience.
So that was the wearable the design, that was the life lock. So lastly but not least, we have the smart interactions. And due to the fact that we are the manufacturers of the mobile phones and of course of the smartware, we can optimize on these things. So like you have with the camera, when you use the camera and our cameras, we have different camera apps that does different things for you. They apply different techniques, different effects. So it's the same with our smartware. You can then download different applications that you will now be able to remote control via your band. So you don't have to take up your mobile phone to do these things. But before you can actually do that, you will then have to say, okay, I want my smart band to react to this when I do certain things. So one of those things is, for instance, you can control your media player, you can start your music, you can go to the next track, you can control your camera, you can show PowerPoint slides on your phone, you can, we have a feature that's called Find Your Phone, where you can get your phone to play a song. So I'll just try and show you here. here if you look at the band itself when I press it you'll see three little LED light lights up correct so I press it and I tap it once now you can see that they're consistently showing that tells me that it's in an activation mode and it will be that for 15 seconds meaning that I can now give it new commands and as you can hear I started the music I started my music player so by tapping it once, I start the music player, by tapping it twice, I go to next number, by tapping it three times, I go back to the previous number. Okay. So smartware, it's the wearables, it's the life lock, and it's the smart interactions. One little thing to say though, not though, one little thing to say is, when you sign up with LifeLog, you can do it in two ways. If you live in a country that has Sony Entertainment, that is Music Unlimited, Video Unlimited, you sign in with your SEN account to give you the benefit of having all your contacts or all your accounts in one. If you're not, you will then use your Google account because LifeLog is going to be on Google Play from launch. And from launch it will run on KitKat. So it will run on other devices than ours because it is an Android device. Right. Okay, thank you very much for that. Can I have one final question. How much is the smart band? Do you know in well, I guess yeah. the European price? The the recommended retail price is ninety nine euros. Mm -hmm. And equally short from launch, we will have nine colours available. So when you buy the band itself, you buy it in black. You'll get two bands and one core. You'll get a band in a small, you'll get a band in a large. Then shortly after launch, it will be available in nine different colors, but they will be bundled in three colors at a time, categorized in fashion, classic, and active. Okay, thank you very much for your help. You're welcome.